first at 10 for some time now, the PA Department of Environmental Protection has issued violations to the Keystone Sanitary Landfill following odor complaints. Good evening, I'm Aaron Leedy. And I'm Ann Lurie. Today, the DEP announced its largest civil penalty given to the landfill. Fox 56's Jake Sarwar joins us live to break down the penalties and thoughts from a nearby resident. Jake. Aaron and Ann, between November of 22 and this past February, the DEP says officials have detect, detected landfill gas and other odors at least 70 times. It stinks. It really stinks. It's garbage and ugh, gross. Angela from Troop knows the Keystone Sanitary Landfill well. On multiple occasions, she hasn't been able to enjoy sitting outside due to the odors the landfill produces. I don't want to go out because it smells so bad. Who wants to sit outside? And then w nice weather coming, and now we can't even sit outside? Angela is one of the many residents within Dunmore and Troop who have voiced concerns regarding the odors to the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection. The DEP on Monday announced they hold the landfill responsible for odor concerns, saying in part, the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection has entered a consent order and agreement with Keystone Sanitary Landfill for odor violations, including creating malorders at its facility in the boroughs of Dunmore and Troop. According to an investigation, Keystone has violated the Solid Waste Management Act, the Air Pollution Control Act, DEP regulations, and conditions of the landfill's permits. In the agreement, Keystone must take actions necessary to correct and mitigate potential off-site odors from its leachate lagoons, reevaluate its reverse osmosis system, and mitigate landfill gas odors from the site. In addition to the corrective measures, Keystone is ordered to pay a penalty. Now the landfill here will have to pay a $575,000 civil penalty, which is the largest the DEP has given to the landfill here in the last decade, which will be split between the DEP, Dunmore, and Troop boroughs. Following the news, Angela's happy that something is getting done. Finally, thank God. Now, the DEP says that they're going to continue to monitor and respond to any complaints that come through, ensuring that Keystone compli complies to their side of the agreement. Live tonight, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first to 10.